the day we got her autism diagnosis was <laughs> probably the worst day of our life. Yeah. We always knew London was very like calm, she was very passive. We used to talk about like what a happy baby she was. She was like no maintenance, like just would kind of like hang out. And we were thankful because we were new parents to this one. You know, we just had a son a year before. So um, she was super passive and just happy, content. Um, but we noticed like she wasn't hitting those milestones as we thought. Um, went through the early intervention process and for a really long time they told us that they thought that she was deaf, that she was hearing impaired. Um, that's why she wasn't making sounds, that's why she wasn't looking at us when we call her name. And then we had her tested at CHOP and they came out and they said her hearing is fine. She can hear everything. Um, and they said it must be autism. Once we walked in Eden, she immediately had a connection and within a couple months we noticed a, a big difference in her. We were blown away. I mean, from the Phenomenal. minute, oh my God, from the minute we walked in the door, we were like, all right, we felt comfortable. We finally felt like, oh, they get it. They understand and like we can like breathe for a minute. You know, it was such a like high stress, like tense time that like, it felt like, okay, they're gonna take care of this. Like, we're gonna be okay. The thing I valued the most was seeing London connect. So where she never really connected, she was starting to be like a part of things and wanting to be a part of family outings and sitting with us. And, um, you know, we saw that almost immediately start when she started eating. Her being at Eden was like our, it was our safety. Like, th you know, they almost brought humor to like a situation we were devastated by. She was normal there. And our, our struggle was normal. <laughs> And we didn't feel like nobody else got it. We felt like everybody got it from this front desk staff to the gym teacher, to the other parents, administration. Um, we never felt like we had explained to them. They just got it and it was normal. Blessed is not the word. Uh, there is no word. Eden, has has really saved us. I don't think we would have gotten through the process without them. There are lots of families that can't even begin to touch the amount of services that their child desperately need to have a functional life. You know, the biggest fear for a parent is what happens when I'm not here? Um, and having organizations and having places that we know are going to take care of her long term are so, so important. Um, you know, donating to those uh, funds is changing the quality of their life.